Oh yeah, I was wondering why um, junior high school, high school, and college, I had to read Great Expectations. <laughs> <laughs> but duh, I mean Lower East Side and now Upper East Side College, you know? It's yeah. just like, why are they pushing that on me? <laughs> Lately I, um, I kind of joked about it by saying like, oh, call me Miss Havisham. <laughs> <laughs> Never been married only once for a green card for somebody else. <laughs> and he happened to be gay and a Filipino. <laughs> Dancer. Every minority group you covered. Huh? You covered every minority group. Uh, close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, um, um, okay. Um, this was written some time ago. Uh, now it's a verb for misogynist men. For men who beat, hit their woman, who leave them homeless on the road like homeless pets. For jobless men, women who cannot pay their bills, pay their mortgages. Now is a verb. For gentrification, Lower East Side, Soho, no little Italy in Williamsburg, Hell's Kitchen, Chelsea, Crown Heights, Chinatown, Chinatown. It's still happening. It's starting to happen in Chinatown, which is pretty bizarre what's going on. Um, now, John McCain, this was written, Obama's opponent, is just trying to keep his job. Um, now is the time for change. Change is now. Now is change. Change. Now. 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 A symphony for the homeless. <laughs> the miseries of homeless musicians played out in company of other musicians, relating their vibes and sounds unheard in word, felt but not spoken. The symphony of Benny Powell. Uh, you know, the song, Benny, I mean, Powell, Here Comes Powell on the <laughs> piano. But this Benny Powell, I think, was a trombone player. He passed away, died this morning. Like violins, she harmonizes with the cellos. As the strings curve round her ear, she gaelically prances in the yellow meadow. She is neither here nor there. The May flowers bloom and the irises dies as the sweet peonies <coughs> blooms into numerous petals and the line for the homeless homelessly increases in Salvation Army food lines. And the decadence is go to openings. Here's some jazz where free hors d'oeuvres are served and the champagne glasses are constantly refilled. And the whippoorwills will sing her sad song. The singing birds seem seeking release, forever harmonizing with the droning violins, violas, cellos, and basses. All right, all right. This, this was written before Trump. And I've read this several times, but I guess this will come up again. Demagogue as opposed to oligarchy. Demagogue is a political leader who seeks support by appealing to popular desires and prejudices rather than by using rational argument. So I have read this poem on um, Walk on Wall Street, uh, one of the first open mics there. And then um, I submitted it, and it's a rainy <laughs> right when I got up to read it, it started pouring like hell. <laughs> I mean, it's weird. But then I submitted the poem, and they have a, a book of poems, but my poem's not in it for some stupid yeah. reason. Uh, it just got wet. <laughs> yeah, soaking wet. <laughs> but the uh, ink was still there when I submitted it. Okay. The decadence of the first world as reflected in the decadence of the third world. Social class structures, barriers of shunned communications. 
where humanity is a serious agenda, criteria for the concerned citizens. The upper class are living with such privileges where I become the enemy forced to enjoy the other. Democracy becomes a side order of salad with Russian, French, Italian, Hispanic, and American dressing. The main course is what they want in society. Unless the masses agree to recognize the universal experiences of suffering to revolt. Yeah.